We moved into a new home in St. George, Utah, and out back in fact, uh, there, uh, out in my backyard, we have a horse pasture. Only problem is, I don't know anything about horses. And so since we've moved in, we've been looking at horses and if that's something we wanna get. And so let's say I were going to make a website about horses and owning a horse. Well, let's go through the ideation process together as if our site is about owning a horse. So the first thing you have to do is we need to go into a browser that we're not signed into. It's not exactly the same thing to go into a browser that's in incognito mode or private mode. Um, there are some subtle differences and we have seen some differences in the way that the um, that this process is going to work. So I want you to go fully signed out. So what I usually do is if I'm working in Chrome as my primary browser where I'm signed in, I'm on a Mac I use Safari uh, where I'm never signed in so that I can do this search analysis process. So get two browsers, I think it makes it a little bit easier. So the first thing I'm going to do is our partial search method. This is where we're really finding those queries, the questions that people are asking, not just topics, those really unearthing those long tail keywords. This is our primary method for ideation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our list of questions for this. Now we're going to provide this. You can get this in the download where uh, it's just a, an idea list of all the different partial searches that you could make. And then we're gonna just, where the X is, we're gonna add whatever your query is, right? And so I'm gonna type things like, how much does a horse? And then I'm, I can look at these audio autocompletes to see what's there, and that's helpful. But again, some problems with autocomplete. We're going to actually hit enter, and where we're actually getting the best searches is here in the people also ask, and then also in these related searches sections. This is where we're really finding more of the searcher intent, more of the type of topics that we should actually be writing on. We're also seeing a little less of the just weird stuff appearing here than we do in the autocompletes. So here I can see some really cool stuff. Now, uh, the obvious autocomplete is how much does a horse cost, right? But in the people also ask, we get some cool things. We see how much does it cost per year? And so what we could do is we could write an article specifically on how much does a horse cost per year? And if there's enough search volume uh, of horses overall to break it up into sections like that, then that's a good idea. But sometimes we're just gonna say, total cost of owning a horse. And then maybe in parentheses, we're gonna say um, horse cost per year and maintenance. Some maintenance, I don't know what you call it, monthly care, something like that, right? So maybe we wanna group it and maybe we wanna write them separately. Now with horses, because I know there's gonna be a ton of search volume, a lot of people search about horses, there's a good chance I wanna write it separately. So I'm gonna take this question, how much does it cost for a horse per year and I'm gonna add that here. Um, cost to own a horse per year. Great, we've done some ideation. And now we're gonna go back and see what else. Is owning a horse expensive? That's probably not a different query. I probably don't wanna just answer, you know, is owning a horse uh, expensive? Find out here as the title for my article. I probably just want to write an article on how much does a horse uh, cost to own, right? See, cost of caring for a horse is what they're grabbing as the snippet, right? So don't feel like you have to copy this as your title. How much is a horse UK? Now see, that is really good. That's a great topic for me to write about uh, that didn't show up in the autocomplete because I can say, oh, you know what? It is very different in the UK. Land is a lot more expensive in the UK. Uh, trucks are less common for hauling around the hay and stuff like that. And so, you know what? This is a good topic. I could uh, get a different perspective by writing that. How much does it cost and buy and keep a horse? Again, now we're saying, okay, maybe we want to bring this to one big article. 
Do horses really like to be ridden? Now this is, uh, this is what I kind of like in the people also ask, is sometimes it's really taken us further from that how much does a horse, it's just showing, you know what, a lot of people are interested in this if they're just kind of looking at the beginning searches of, of something. And so we're unearthing some of these things that just aren't showing up in other places. And then another great one, what is the cheapest price for a horse? This is beautiful, I love this. Makes me happy, right? Here's why, because this would never, ever, ever show up in autocomplete, why? Because the main search term, horse, is the last in the sentence, right? And autocomplete relies on it finishing the rest of it. The asterisk operator isn't working anymore. And so we just literally would not find that in autocomplete, but we're finding it here. So it enables us to find things where the, the main search term is the last in the phrase. I hope that makes sense. So what is the cheapest? To me, that's a totally different search than just how much does a horse cost? This is somebody that says, oh man, I know owning a horse is expensive, but like, what's the cheapest one I could get? Is this even possible for me? It's a different query. And I think with another ser enough search volume for horses, I would definitely write that article. So you can see how this method just really is better. This partial search method. We're taking a question phrase, we're typing part of it, how much does a horse, you know, we're not finishing, it's just a partial search. And then we're seeing what people also ask and also related searches. Now these related searches tend to bring up a little bit more random stuff than the people also ask. I'd prefer the things in the people also ask, but we certainly, this is instructive as well. It's gonna help us to think of some, uh, some ideas of things we can uh, write about. That is our primary way that we're going, going to do ideation. We're gonna do these, so we did how much does a horse, and then we say our horses, and we're gonna look at these, and we say our horses smarter than dogs, and I say, oh, you know what, that's a good one. Our horses smarter than dogs. Now, I want you to use your brain a little bit as you're going through this. Don't just write down everything. We've seen some automated tools that can just do this and fire it all out. I, I don't love that, uh, the automated tool, because it's going to make you miss on, oh, looking at the audio complete as you're going, see how often things are showing up. Um, I, I like just kind of going through this manually and really thinking through a little bit before we put it here. Otherwise, you have a fire hose of a thousand things in ideation. Don't make that mess here. We're just grabbing the cream of the crop. We're saying, you know what? I bet that's a common question. That seems to make sense. And we're just grabbing those uh, to put it on here. Um, are horses colorblind? Um, are horses dangerous? Are horses omnivores? All of these could be possible. Uh, I wouldn't say any of these are crazy. Maybe are horses native to America? That's maybe getting pretty niche, my guess is. Are horseshoe crabs crustaceans? This is again where we're seeing some kind of weirder stuff um, in the autocomplete. Because we've typed our horses and it's adding who crabs crustaceans, right? It's a little bit more just automated. But if I type our horses and just hit enter, now I feel like these in the people also ask, I feel like these are maybe the more common questions than some of the things we see in the autocomplete. And then down here, we also see some good ideas that we can grab as well. So we're gonna take our list and we're gonna do all of them going through this process.